With the end of the BCS and the start of the four-team playoff, college football's postseason will undergo huge changes in 2014. One of those changes will be the start of the 12-year agreement that matches teams from the Big 12 and the Southeastern Conference here in the Sugar Bowl. I think that, uh, you know, if you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. And uh, uh, the uh, SEC has proven the last seven years that uh, their, their champion is, is the best in the country. And so I think in a, in a brief statement, that's what it is. The Big 12 and the SEC are equal partners in the bowl that is guaranteed to match teams from the conferences in eight of the next 12 years. The other four years, the Sugar Bowl will be part of the college football playoff rotation. It's very different. It's groundbreaking in the bowl business, and we think it's going to serve us very well. It's the kind of game, the type of game that, that we thought uh, you know would be in the Sugar Bowl every year, and uh, we're excited about this year and certainly excited about the future. When you know what you're doing every year and you know you're going to get the top team out of two great conferences, there's, there's no doubt that uh, you can focus on the little things to make it a, a, a highly improved product year to year, and that's what we intend to do. Thursday night's game between Oklahoma and Alabama served as an early start to the unique arrangement. For the length of the agreement, the Big 12 SEC game will be played in prime time on January 1st. You know, we're excited about the future of the game. We think you know the type of game that it's going to uh, present each and every year always be a January 1 prime time game. So the time slot is set for a 12-year period, and you know the quality of matchup, an SEC Big 12 matchup every year in the Sugar Bowl, with the exception of the semifinal. Final years will certainly be something I think our fan bases will gravitate to. It'll become tradition, and uh, we, we're certainly excited about it and look forward to it. It's a lot of money. It uh, arms our schools with uh, a lot of resources that uh, that they can use to run their programs, and um, we, we just think it's a, a win all around. Reporting from the Superdome in New Orleans for the Big 12 Minute, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.